everyone, Matt Johnson here, and I'm super excited to bring you today's episode because not only are we doing a review of a Swiss-made watch, but also in this episode, I'm running a contest to give this Swiss-made watch away. You do not want to miss this episode. Now, time's a ticking, so let's get stuck in. everyone, happy Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend. Here in Vancouver, Canada, where I live, it is absolutely freezing this weekend. I mean, it's like minus nine, but with the wind chill factor, it feels like minus 557 million. It is so cold. Today is a very exciting episode because not only am I going to be reviewing this watch from Miller Watches, which is a British designed Swiss made watch, but I'm also going to be giving it a way to one of you and it's super super easy to win all you have to do to enter is one subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification and two leave a comment down below as to why you think you should win this watch now you do have to be subscribed to enter so don't just leave a comment because I'll check the comments against the subscribers and if they don't match you won't be entered you may want to watch the following review to not only see the watch you're going to win but also come up with a good reason why you should win it. Now, before we actually get into the review of this Swiss watch, the beer that I'm drinking today is Steam Whistle, Canada's premium Pilsner. It's a 5% alcohol volume lager, and it's one of the only Pilsners in the world that still adheres to the Bavarian Purity Act of 1516. This must be pretty good beer. And here's to giving away a Swiss watch. Ah, what a great way to start a week. That is cold, crisp, and refreshing. If you wanna check out this beer, you can go to this website right here. I'll also put that link in the description below this video. Now, without further ado, let's swing this camera around and review this chronograph watch from Miller Watches. I just wanna say a big thank you to Liam, the owner of Miller Watches over in the UK, for sending this watch along for review, and also, again, for allowing me to keep it and give it away to one of my subscribers. Absolutely amazing. So thank you so much, Liam. This is a watch that's designed in the UK but is Swiss made. Miller Watches have a few watches on their website. They have the classic chronograph, which is this one right here. They also have a classic dress watch, and then they have the sport tool watch in silver, black, and blue. Now, as well as those, they also have a section on their website where they sell pre-owned watches as well. So you always want to check in with them to see what watches they have on offer. And you can do that by going right here to millerwatches.com. Now, Miller Watches' uh, mission is to provide high-end and custom made Swiss watches um, without the big brand price tag. So we're going to go through this watch right here. Now don't forget again that you can win this watch today. Well actually you can't win it today uh, but you can enter the contest to win this watch today. The contest closes on February 28th. Again it's 2021 and uh, the contest will be drawn on Monday March 1st on this channel. So make sure if you want to enter to win this Swiss made watch you subscribe, you hit the bell notification and then you put in the comments section below why you think you should win this watch. And by the way, you'll get points if you include in your comments something that I've said in this video about this watch. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Now, as mentioned, this is the classic chronograph. Now, this comes in at £299 on their website, which is about $400 US or about $500 Canadian, give or take a little bit. Liam has been kind enough to give me a discount code to give to all of you. Now, I I don't make any money from that discount code, but it does give you a considerable saving. And that discount code is right here. It is beer and watches 20. And if you put that discount code in at checkout, you will get 20% off the price of this watch. Now let's get into the full review of this watch. We'll get rid of the little cushion there. Um, pretty nice box, uh, spring loaded. Uh, nothing too snazzy, but does the job. It's hard, it's solid, so it's going to protect the watch during transit and while you're storing it. We've got here the warranty card. Now, uh, this watch 
comes with a two-year international warranty. And then at the back here, we've got the instructions for setting the chronograph, operating the watch and everything like that. It is also a split time chronograph, so it shows you how to operate that. Now let's give this a little polish with our microfiber cleaning cloth, just to make sure we give it the best look on this video. Got my beer here, I've got my calipers, and I've got my little screwdriver so we can get the back off this watch in a moment. And as you can see, we've got the MW logo there, just below the 12 o'clock position for Miller watches. Just above the six o'clock position, we've got Swiss made. And by the way, you'll have to forgive my black nail. I keep bringing it up on these videos. I actually hit it during a game of virtual reality. I'm a big virtual reality fan, but I'm not a fan of smacking my nail into the sideboard while I'm playing. Gonna take a while for that to grow out, I think. We've got uh, applied hour markers all the way around there. Now, just above the three o'clock position, we've got the one tenth of a second um, chronograph dial. Just above the six o'clock position, we've got the seconds dial. Above the nine o'clock position on this side here, we've got the 30 minute dial. We also have an HMS dial, hour, minute, and second hand. Now, the second hand is on a sub dial down here. As you can see, it's ticking away. And then this second hand, the long red second hand, this is going to be in use uh, when we actually use the chronograph to time. Now, at the four o'clock position here, we have a date window surrounded by a silver metal frame. And the hands on this and the hour markers there are framed in silver with the loom uh, in white on them there. And we'll give you a quick loom shot here. And there we have have the loom on the dial. I would say that's pretty good. We've got loomed hour markers, obviously. Uh, no hour marker there at two, four, six, or 10 because that's where we have our chronograph dials. We do only have loom on the hour markers and on the hour and minute hand. No loom on the chronograph dials on the second hands or anything else. Okay, so coming back to the watch on the outer chapter ring there, you can see we have a minute dial. Now, as far as operating the chronograph goes, the top pusher here uh, starts the chronograph. As you can see, we get the tenths of a second dial spinning around there, the large red second hand starts ticking to notify the seconds and then this is the 30 minute dial so when this does a full rotation this will go up by one minute and we'll keep going all the way around to 30 minutes to stop the chronograph we press this upper pusher again that stops the chronograph so there you can see we're at 26 seconds and nine tenths of a second and then to reset the chronograph we press the bottom pusher and that resets the chronograph and that uh, chronograph second hand fires back very very quickly now that's um the basic operation of the chronograph on this let me just give this another polish with a slightly different cleaning cloth there we go. Now to do the split time, uh, you press the top pusher to start the chronograph. And then instead of pressing the top pusher to stop it, you would press the bottom pusher, which will stop the chronograph there. And you can see that's 10 seconds and uh, five tenths of a second. When I press the bottom pusher again, it will catch up with itself because it's ticking in the background here while I've got the watch stopped. So when I press this, you'll see it catch up with itself right there. And then we can press the top pusher to record the second time. And then again, press the bottom pusher to reset. So that's the operation of the chronograph. As for the crown on this, um, it's a push-pull crown. Now, the only thing I will say is if I bring this in close, you can see that that crown is at absolutely smooth, just like the pushers. There is no coin edge on that crown at all. It does work. It does operate. It You can change uh, the time with it. Uh, it's fairly easy to do. It works just fine. I would have liked to have seen some coin edge on that crown. Not absolutely necessary. As I say, the watch do, does work just fine, but it would have been nice to see a little bit of coin edge to give you a grip whilst turning. We've got crown guards there to protect the crown. Now we're going to pull this out once. We turn it anti-clockwise and that changes the date they click in really well and then we pull the crown out again and we turn it and that's going to set the time and that's very very responsive no problems there at all actually i should note that when you pull this out yep the second hand does stop on the second sub dial which means that this is hackable which means that you can uh, the second hand stops when you're setting the watch for more precise time setting push that back in there you'll see it'll start up again the uh, bezel the sides of the case the lugs it is all done in a high polished 316l stainless steel now moving round we've got a genuine leather strap done in kind of this crocodile faux print with white stitching all very nicely done don't have any problems with that at all the strap is a little stiff to start it will soften with time and 
And uh, if you want to soften this a little bit quicker, if you either win this or happen to pick one up for yourself, I did an episode here on my channel on how to soften leather straps. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below this video so you can go check that out if indeed you want to use it on this strap or if you have a watch at home with a leather strap that you just want to make that little bit softer a little bit quicker now moving up to the tang buckle here it's a brushed stainless steel tang buckle no stamp on there uh, for the company it is a good size i would say that's pretty good solid tang buckle we've got one keeper in place and one movable keeper moving to the back of the watch this is where we get the brushing we've got a brushed stainless steel back and we've got the miller watches logo and uh, there it says miller watches and next to that on this side it says stainless steel 316l down there custom swiss made watch and right there if i can get this in for you in focus you can see that it says water resistant now you can also see that this is a screw down case back literally we have four uh, flathead screws in each corner there and in a moment i'll remove those and we'll take the case back off to look at the movement inside now you may have noticed from the operation of the second hand ticking that this is a quartz watch and not an automatic watch the diameter of the watch is 38 millimeters the thickness of the watch here is 11 millimeters the lug to lug on this uh, is 43 point i would say about 43.9 millimeters and the bandwidth is actually a 20 millimeter bandwidth and there is the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist as you can see wears nicely wears a bit on the smaller side a good watch to wear whether you're male or female a good unisex watch and i'm going to take the back off here now and show you the quartz movement inside the battery life of the battery inside this movement is a three-year battery life or if you use the chronograph constantly i.e you press the button and leave it going constantly then you'll get about 20 months of battery life out of this battery. So let's go ahead and take my little screwdriver here and let's take the back off this watch. So we've removed all the screws, we'll remove the case back and there is the movement inside here. Now we can see if we turn this round that it says it's got four jewels. It's a Swiss V8 movement and right there we can see that it's an ETA. And actually right here we can see the model number G10712. Comes in at 32,768 hertz and we can see there the cell battery on this is a 394 cell battery and you know what i like the finishing in the back of here that's absolutely beautiful now while we can't see the quartz movement because it's got this steel case over the back that just looks really clean really nicely done and that finishing on this eta movement is beautiful so very very nice to see that in the back there you are getting a swiss ETA movement, great workhorse movement in this watch and uh, should present you no problems at all when it comes to the running of the watch. So I think that's it. That's pretty much the full review. If you have any questions on top of anything you've seen in this review, do leave them in the comment section below. And also don't forget, if you want to win this watch, to subscribe. You must be subscribed to win. Hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the announcement video when I announce the winner. And also leave a comment in the comment section below as to why you think you should win this watch. Well, there you have it, my friends. There's the full in-depth review of the Chronograph watch from Miller Watches. I want to say a big thank you to Liam over at Miller Watches for not only agreeing to send this along for review, but also agreeing to let me keep it and give it away to one of you. And speaking of which, don't forget, if you want to enter to win this watch, you must be subscribed, you must hit the bell notification, and then you must leave a comment in the comment section below as to why you should win this watch watch. Now today is Monday the 15th of February 2021 and the draw for this will close on February 28, 2021 and then the winner will be announced on a video here on my channel on Monday the 1st of March 2021. Make sure you get your entry in and you could be walking away with this watch. Now if you want to check out the other watches from Miller Watches go to this website right here millerwatches.com. Well that's it my friends what a great way to start the week by giving away a Swiss watch. As I said, good luck to each and every single one of you. It's been a while since we've done a watch giveaway on this channel. I thought it's about time we did one, but we did a doozy. If you want to send me some love, leave me a thumbs up. That is the best way to support the channel. I'm Matt Johnson. That's it for today. And by the way, you want to make sure you check out some of the 
other videos on my YouTube channel right here. In fact, this one right here is a good one. And don't forget to click on the Beer and Watchers logo right there to subscribe. Happy Monday, take care, good luck to you all, and we'll see you again on Wednesday for another episode of Beer and Watchers.